Our next game is Sunderland against Birmingham and my favourite of those must-know stats from last season. Did you know that the Blues' total of 19 goals at home made them the lowest scoring side to finish in the top half of the table in Premier League history? Not to be outdone, Sunderland managed to become the first side to have nine players sent off in a Premier League season. Makes you feel proud, doesn't it? Martin Fisher was at the Stadium of Light. Titus Shambles was one of the rather cruel nicknames given to Titus Bramble by Sunderland fans when he played for Newcastle. Now he's one of their own, one of four debutants unveiled by Steve Bruce today. Charged with emulating the success of Joe Hart last season, Ben Foster cost Birmingham £6 million in the summer. A similar sum brought in Serbian striker Nikola Zigic, but he only makes the bench. Henderson, Richardson in loads of room again. Campbell and Bent wait in the middle. Here is Bent, well, Bronk! Well, he scuffed the shot, couldn't keep it on target. Failed to test Ben Foster here, Steve Malbronk, but a lovely ball in by Richardson. I think Ben was trying to kill it, but it turned into a pretty good pass. Catamol this time gets the better of O'Connor, who's come out of that worse for wear. Ooh, it's a nasty cut, that. Honest challenge this by Lee Catamol, was it? The elbow was raised. McLeish knows all about those kind of wounds. The rock of a centre-half for Aberdeen in Scotland. And this lad is made from the same kind of stuff. O'Connor for Jerome. Johnson's overran it. Malbron for Bent. Taking on Dan, who brought him down. Referee says play on. Campbell takes on Carr and goes down. Penalty given. Well, it all stemmed from Johnson missing that earlier ball, and Campbell wouldn't give this up. Carr with a challenge outside the area as he was. Campbell goes down, but the decision was given by the assistant near side, Dave Bryan, who put the flag across his chest and said penalty. It looks like the yellow card for the Birmingham captain. Bent against Foster. Goal, Sunderland. Bent is off and running again. Sunderland in front. Reward for their bright start. Jerome. Fair foul by Catamol. Oh, it's a booking for Lee Catamol. First of the season. There'll be plenty of those if the record of last season continues. Minulet, driving it towards Bent, that's a great leap, Campbell, oh that's fabulous, Bent, oh what a goal that would have been, well Malbronk was screaming for the ball to be square to him, given Bent's goal scoring record you can understand why he went for goal himself. Oh that's a nasty challenge on Boya. Lee Catamol coming through from behind. And remember, Catamol's already been booked, so Catamol is off. Lee Catamol sent off for his second yellow card offence with only 43 minutes gone of the new season. Sunderland have their first red card. It's an ugly challenge. It's the sort of thing that does get yellow cards these days, and Lee Catamol has to start learning that. Well, it's only his third ever Premier League game for Anthony Taylor. And on the big day, he's not bought the big decisions. But Fadden, for Jerome, he's got two to beat here. The first is Mensah, the second is Richardson. A oh, well play, Henderson. Benton Campbell through the centre. He's looking for Campbell, it came off, Car! It's an own goal for Stephen Carr, the former Newcastle man. Has a horrific return to the northeast, gave away the penalty, and now scores an own goal. And it's 2-0 Sunderland. And is there a way back for Birmingham?
Larson. Bowyer looking long. Bramble can only turn it behind for a corner. He was just trying to cushion that down to his goalkeeper, Mignolet. And the short corner is on here. Ridgewell back for Larson. Swept in and in by Dan. Birmingham City on the score sheet. Scott Dan with his first ever goal in the Premier League. And is there a way back for Birmingham City now? Sunderland were slacking. Larson, not for the first time, with good delivery. And Scott Dan got above his man, Anua, and nods it home. Played by Mensa. And Riveros first to the loose ball. Heads the corner, says Steve Bruce. Trying to do so, he's given it away. Larson trying to run away from El Mohamedy. Wins a free kick. Birmingham will settle for that. We know what's coming. Larson will whip it in. And it's up to the likes of Johnson, Dan, Ziggett, or Jerome to get on the end of things. And they have done. It's a desperately scrambled goal, but Birmingham won't care. Larson's ball in. Just begged the touch. And I'm not sure who got the final touch. It might even have been an own goal. Larson's ball in. I'm still not sure. I still don't know who got the final touch. Was it you? As far as I know, no. Um, <laughs> I've not seen the replay myself, so as far as I know, it hasn't touched me. Um, you know, obviously, if it did, I'd be delighted and take the goal. I thought we were poor, I thought we, were a lot, we lacked sharpness in certain parts of the team and uh, I'm sure that the individuals who, who played in the team today analyse their game and they will want to do something about it because I've got proud guys in there who, who want to continue to play at the level they played at last season. The last thing I want to do is come on here and start criticising referees because it is difficult. But maybe somebody told me he's only we started refereeing four years ago and it looked like it and surely we're... OK, if we've got to fast-track people through, then they've got to be exceptional and ready. And unfortunately today, I don't think uh, the referee was ready.